Like, share, subscribe. I'm here to talk about Kevin Durant once again. Now, uh, most dominant player in the NBA right now. He he the greatest player that ever played. He the he the um he the MVP. He the defensive player of the year. He the he better than Michael Jordan, Kobe, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. He the greatest. The dude is the greatest. I swear he is. He is the best. He the best athlete ever played in history. I swear y'all better not say nothing about him not being the best. I swear. Y'all tripping. No, I'm just playing dude trash, bro. I ain't going to say he trash. I just want to talk about his downfall. Like, everybody keep capping on this dude. Cause he beat LeBron James. <laughs> How bad they talk about Kevin Durant being this best player in the world person. That's how they talk about they was talking about LeBron. Even though they still put a little bit, itchy bit into him to talk about him. Undisputed, y'all need to find some new content to talk about, like. It's getting old with the Cowboys, and it's getting old with LeBron James. They both losers. But uh, let me get back to Kevin Durant. I want to talk about his downfall uh, of his career. I ain't gonna. Need, I can't go deep, deep, deep in his his past history because that's a lot. I just want to talk about his recent events. We ain't gonna go into the Thunder days, but I, I, I want to point one thing about the Thunder when he played against Stephen Curry. He wanted to lead that team. You could tell in his eyes that he wanted to lead. He gave them the game. But let me get back to the Curry events of his career. The dude lost to the Butts. I ain't gonna then put that all the blame on him. That was Steve, Steve Nash, bad call, not giving him enough time to rest. But he a basketball player. He should be in the gym. He should have all the stamina in his lungs to run for a long time, even though he's a human being. But still, he get paid millions to um, run up and down the court and shoot that ball. He shouldn't he should have been um able to to um finish the game and won that game in the clutch. Everybody keep talking about he's so tired. And he's so tired cause he ain't used to taking the lead and being the person y'all say he is. Even though LeBron get all his buckets to the paint. Why Kevin Durant don't do the same thing? <laughs> That's all I have to say. But And another thing. This year, him losing to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Why you didn't come up big in that series? There ain't no excuses for that. He played like trash. And y'all still wouldn't call him the best player in the world after getting dominated by two young players in the team that nobody believed that they was about to win like the Bucks. And y'all end up losing. I even though in the Bucks series, Kyrie got injured. And Jay's Harp did play, but he still was up there to win the game to uh take up the win the series. But let me get back to the Boston. Ain't no excuses for that. I don't care what excuse y'all try to make up. He had all his players on his team that he needed. The only thing he didn't have was Ben Simmons. But if Ben Simmons would have played, it'd been worse offense than it was. I don't care what nobody say. He should have took that over. 
They should have came in the clutch and won that series. It's his fault. And stop making excuses for this guy because he our favorite player. He, I ain't going to say he's not one of the greatest players, but he one of the greatest players of this generation. He's not better than the old generation. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what y'all smoking or what y'all he he's not the best player in the world. He he Kevin Durant, I give him his respect. He beat LeBron. That's all he done. And I'm out.